today, Caillou was going on a holiday trip. He was very excited. He had never been inside an airplane before. The plane's so big, Mommy. Much bigger than the ones up in the sky. <laughs> it looks bigger because you're closer to it, Caillou. Come on, we have to find our seats. Welcome aboard. I hope you enjoy your flight today. What's your name? I'm Caillou, and this is my sister Rosie. We've never been on an airplane before. Airplane! <laughs> nice to meet you, Caillou and Rosie. Let me show you where your seats are. Here we are. Can I sit by the window, Mommy? Of course, Caillou. You can sit next to the window too, Rosie. You have to put your seatbelt on before we take off. Let me know if you need anything. Caillou tried to put on his seatbelt, but it was a little tricky. Do you need some help putting your seatbelt on, Caillou? No, I can do it. Uh, uh, maybe just a little help. Hello, everyone. This is your captain speaking. We're ready for takeoff, so sit back, relax, and enjoy the ride. Look! We're flying, Mommy! Caillou watched as the ground got further and further away. Soon, he could see the whole town below him. Look at all the houses! They're so small! Can you see our house, Caillou? Caillou wanted to get a better look out the window, but his seatbelt was holding him down. Sorry, Caillou, but you have to keep your seatbelt on until the captain turns off the seatbelt light. Where is the captain? The captain is in the cockpit flying the plane. I wish I could be a captain and fly the plane. <laughs> I'll see what I can do, Caillou. Caillou looked back out of the window, but his town had <gasps> disappeared. Everything was gray now. Hey, where did our town go? We're going through the clouds, Caillou. Caillou was amazed. Wow. It had been so wet and gray at the airport, but now it was bright and sunny. Wow, it's all sunny. It's always sunny above the clouds. The clouds look like mountains, Mommy. That's right, they do. Look, Caillou, the captain says it's safe to take our seatbelts off now. Hi, Caillou. I hope you're hungry. We get lunch in the sky? You sure do. Here you go, Caillou. Wow, I get my own little table, too. Airplanes are the best. Hello again, everyone. We're going to be landing very soon. I hope everyone is looking forward to their holiday trips. Caillou saw that the captain had turned the seatbelt light on. Look, Mommy. I did it by myself. Great job, Caillou. I can see our town again. <laughs> That's a different town, Caillou. We're flying over a different country. Hi. You must be Caillou and Rosie. Did you enjoy your first flight? Yes, it was amazing! Ooh, airplane! Somebody told me that you wanted to fly the plane. Can I? <laughs> when you're older, for sure. But for now, I'd like to make you and Rosie honorary pilots. Thank you! I hope you enjoy your holiday. Caillou was very excited to start his holiday but he really couldn't wait to fly back on the airplane again. Today, 
Mommy had taken Caillou and Rosie to get their eyes tested at the optometrist's. Mommy, why do people wear glasses? Glasses have special lenses that help people see better. Do I need glasses? Well, that's why we're here, Caillou. The optometrist is going to do some tests on your eyes. Caillou didn't like the sound of having his eyes tested. Hi, you must be Caillou and Rosie. I'm the optometrist. My job is to test your eyes to see whether or not you need glasses. What kind of test? Don't worry, they're fun. Come inside and I'll show you. Why don't you take a seat, Caillou? What are those? These are a special pair of glasses we use to test your eyesight. If you're having trouble seeing, I can change the lenses like this. Whoa, everything looks fuzzy. What about now? Yeah, that's much better. Okay, Caillou, I'm going to show you some letters and I need you to tell me what they are. That's an A. Very good. Do you know any words that start with the letter A? Um, apple. Apple, that's a good one. What about this letter? That's a C, for carrot. Excellent. Mommy says that carrots are good for my eyes. That's right. Eating fruit and vegetables is very important for keeping your eyes nice and healthy. Caillou thought the eye test was a lot of fun. Okay, Rosie, it's your turn now. Caillou could see that Rosie was looking a little nervous. Don't worry, Rosie. It's fun. Okay, Rosie, can you tell me what this is a picture of? Excellent. What about this one? Ooh. That's right. Well, I think that's enough testing for now. Why don't you go and take a look at some glasses while I look at your results? Mommy, Caillou, and Rosie looked at all the different types of glasses. What about these ones? Mommy, these ones are too big. I look silly. Well, what about these then? These are cool. They're like something a spaceman would wear. Great news, Caillou. You both did very well on your eye tests. You and Rosie don't need glasses. Aw, but I really like these glasses. Here you are. You can wear these whenever you like. Awesome! Thank you! Caillou was happy he had good eyesight, but he was even happier he was able to keep the spaceman glasses. Caillou was very worried because he had lost his favorite toy car. He looked under the couch, on top of the coffee table, and even behind the TV. What are you looking for, Caillou? I'm looking for my toy car, but I can't find it anywhere. Hey, you found our old camera. Oh no, did I break it? No, Caillou, it's meant to do that. It's all dark. Just watch. Caillou watched as the photo changed. It wasn't dark after all. It was a picture of himself. Wow, like magic. Can we take some more pictures, Mommy? Of course, Caillou. How about you take some pictures of things with different colors? I can do that. Let's start with something red. 
Caillou looked around the room and saw his red fire truck sitting on the carpet. There! My fire truck is red! Perfect! You can look through that little hole to see what your picture will look like. Caillou could see his red fire truck through the hole in the camera. I did it, Mommy! Look! It's my red fire truck! Great job, Caillou! How about we try something green next? Hmm, green. There's lots of green things in the garden. In the garden, Caillou could see all kinds of green things. Look, Caillou. Why don't you take a picture of this green grasshopper? Caillou tried to take a picture of the grasshopper, but it jumped away into the grass when he got close. Hey! Come back! You have to move slowly, Caillou. The grasshopper won't stay still otherwise. Mommy, I was really slow and quiet. <laughs> wow! Look at all its legs! Great job again, Caillou. Do you think you could find something blue to take a picture of? Something blue. Oh, I know! Rosie's dress is blue. I could take a picture of Rosie. Caillou found Rosie in the living room with Daddy. She was playing with his toy car. Hey, Rosie! You found my toy car! Vroom, vroom! Smile, Rosie! I've got to take your picture! Look, Rosie! Magic! Is that our old camera, Caillou? Yes. Mommy and me have been taking pictures of colors. That sounds fun. How about we take a picture of all of us sitting on the couch? But who will take the picture? It has a special timer. We can set it up on the table, and it will take the picture after a few seconds. Here, let me show you. Okay, everyone on the couch, quick! Say cheese, everyone! Cheese! cheese. Caillou had loved taking pictures with the camera, but looking at them magically appear was his favorite part. Explorer Caillou and his friends were on a rescue mission to save Teddy. She's getting away! Faster, guys! Caillou, no catch Rosie! Rosie, too fast! Leo is struggling to keep his dinosaur under control. How do you steer these things? Oh. Oh. Ah! <laughs> You guys look like you've got yourself in quite a tangle there. What have you been up to? Cave Girl Rosie has stolen Teddy. We are trying to catch her on our pet dinosaurs and save Teddy. Well, that does sound like quite the adventure, kids. You better get back to it. Sarah and Clementine wanted to catch up with Cave Girl Rosie to save Teddy. But they knew they had to think of a plan. I can see her going over the mountain past the clearing to the north. Maybe that's where her cave is. Nice spot, Clem. Let's draw out the island and we can figure out the best way to get to the cave. We're here. And the cave girl has escaped back to her cave on the other side of the mountain. To get there, 
We need to pass the quicksand lake and the river. We don't have to ride the dinosaurs again, do we? I think we should go on foot so we can sneak up and catch Ro... I mean, the cave girl. Let's go! The team of explorers came across some quicksand. Caillou thought this was going to be tricky, but Clementine had an idea. Then they crossed a river, which was very wide and very deep. Sarah spotted some stepping stones they could use to safely cross. and his explorer friends had finally arrived. They were so close to finishing their rescue mission. Cave girl Rosie was fast asleep, snuggled up to Teddy by the campfire of her cave. There she is! And there is Teddy! We need to move in slowly and quietly. We don't want to wake her. <gasps> Leo! Leo, wait! I got him! Guys, I saved Teddy! <laughs> That's not good! Look! Caillou and his explorer friends rode through the jungle trying to get back home safe. Over the mountain, through the river, and across the quicksand. But the Gilbertosaurus Rex wouldn't stop chasing them. Then, Leo had an idea. You did it, Leo! The team of explorers had saved the day and rescued Teddy. It was time for them to rest up before their next adventure. Caillou was going to a food fair in the park with Grandma and Grandpa. Wow! Look at all the food, Grandpa! That's right, Caillou. This is called a World Food Fair. The people here are making food from all different countries, Caillou. It's a great chance for you to try some food you might not have tasted before. Caillou could smell all kinds of unusual things, but he didn't know what they all were. What can you smell, Caillou? I'm not sure, but it smells yummy! Well, come on then. You lead the way. My tummy is starting to rumble. Well, hello there. How can I help you today? Hello, this is my grandson, Caillou. He's going to try some food from around the world. Well, Caillou, you've come to the right place. Have you tried a taco before? 
Caillou thought about all the nice food Mommy and Daddy made for him at home, but he couldn't remember having tried a taco before. I don't think so. What is it? A taco has a hard, crunchy shell on the outside and a tasty filling on the inside. Mmm. Well, that settles it. One taco, please. Here you go, Caillou. Now be careful, Caillou. Make sure you don't squeeze it too hard. Oh dear, Caillou's taco had broken. It had looked so yummy, and he didn't even get to try one bite. That can happen with tacos. Here, have another one on the house. Thank you. Remember to be careful this time. Try not to squeeze it so hard. Caillou held the taco very carefully in his hands and took a bite. Mmm, it's really good. Caillou thought that tacos were very tasty, and he liked the way the outside crunched. It's crunchy. Here, try some. Okay, Caillou, where to next? A woman at the next stall was stirring something in a large metal pot. Caillou wondered what it could be. Hello, this is Caillou. He is trying different food today. Very nice to meet you, Caillou. What are you stirring? It's a curry. Curry is a very popular food in a country called India, and it's full of all kinds of interesting spices. This one is spicy, and this one is mild. Caillou hadn't heard of India or curry before. India? Where's that, Grandpa? <laughs> India is a country on the other side of the world, Caillou. Can we have one spicy and one mild, please? Thank you. I'll try the spicy one. Mmm, just right. Caillou noticed that Grandpa's face had started to turn red. What's the matter, Grandpa? <laughs> that spicy curry is too hot for your grandpa, Caillou. Here, try this. It's a drink made with yogurt called a lassi. It'll help you cool your mouth down. <laughs> Thank you. That's much better. That spicy curry sounds scary. Caillou wanted to try all of the food, but he didn't want to eat anything too spicy. Don't worry, Caillou. This one is only a tiny little bit spicy, I promise. Caillou felt a little tingling in his mouth from the spices, but it didn't make his face turn red like Grandpa. It's not too spicy at all. I think I should have the mild one next time as well. Thank you for the curry. Hello, care to try some sushi? Mmm, my favorite. Sushi? That's right. Sushi is from a country called Japan. It's usually made with rice and raw fish. Caillou didn't like the sound of raw fish one bit. Raw fish? Yuck! Can we have three pieces, please? One for me, one for Grandma, and one for Caillou. Give it a try. You never know. It might be your new favorite. <laughs> it's too weird. I can't eat it, Grandpa. That doesn't matter, Caillou. Different people like different foods. I know. How about you and Grandma go find a picnic bench, and I'll bring you something I know you'll love. Grandpa had brought Caillou something, but he was keeping it a secret. What have you got, Grandpa? You'll have to guess. Caillou liked guessing. Okay. What if I told you that it's made by mixing flour, eggs, and water? Okay, well, what if I told you that this food comes from a country called Italy? Oh, I know! Pizza! Almost. How about if I told you that this was your most favorite food in the world? Caillou knew what Grandpa was hiding. It's spaghetti! That's right! That is my favorite! Yummy! Caillou had lots of fun trying the different kinds of food at the fair, but he really loved his spaghetti. 
Today, Mommy and Daddy had taken Caillou and Rosie on a special trip to the lake to celebrate the 4th of July. Caillou could see lots of people enjoying themselves. Who are all these people, Mommy? They're here for the party, Caillou. Today is a special day where people get together to celebrate and have fun. Caillou saw a group of children playing a game of tag. They all had their faces painted like different animals. <laughs> can I get my face painted too, Mommy? Of course you can, but how about we go for a swim first? <laughs> Caillou had lots of fun playing in the water with Rosie. Look, Mommy! Rosie and I are being fish! Hi there. Are you here to have your faces painted? Yes, please. I want to be a bear just like my teddy. Great choice. Now hold still. Caillou tried his best to stay still while the nice lady painted his face, but the brush was very ticklish. <laughs> hey, that tickles! Almost finished. There! Caillou looked at himself in the mirror. He looked just like Teddy. <laughs> Look, I'm a teddy bear! Who wants a hot dog? I do! I do! Hello there! What can I get you? We'll have four hot dogs, please. Coming right up. Here you go. Help yourself to ketchup and mustard. Thank you. Can you help me with the sauces, Caillou? Okay. Caillou squeezed as hard as he could, but the ketchup wouldn't come out. It's not working. You have to twist the top, Caillou. Oh, I see. <laughs> it was time for the firework display. Caillou was very excited. Are the fireworks going to start soon, Daddy? Any minute now, Caillou. Just keep watching. It's starting! Caillou had a wonderful day <laughs> celebrating with Mommy, Daddy, and Rosie. He couldn't wait to do it all again next year. It was a beautiful, sunny day outside, but Caillou was having lots of fun with Clementine indoors. They were playing a new computer game called Dig and Build. Nice one, Clementine! You carry on building the base while I go into the forest and find us some more wood. Okay, Caillou, but be careful. The forest is full of giant spiders. Caillou, what are you doing sitting inside? I told you to stop playing that video game ages ago. We can't stop now, Mommy. It'll be dark soon and we have to get the base ready before the monsters come. You and Clementine have been playing inside all morning. It's a beautiful day. You should be outside playing in the garden. Just five more minutes, please. Yeah, please. No, that's enough. Turn it off now. Okay, I did warn you. Mommy, we weren't finished yet. That was your last chance, Caillou. You're grounded. No more video games today. You have to go outside and help Daddy and I with the chores. But, Mommy... Come on, off you go outside. Otherwise, it'll be no more video games tomorrow, either. Caillou was very grumpy. He didn't want to go outside. He wanted to play more of his video game. What are we supposed to do out here? Well, you can start by helping Daddy. He's been raking up all the leaves and sticks from the lawn. Hi, Clementine. Hi, Caillou. What's the matter? Mommy turned off our video game. 
She said we have to come and do chores outside. Well, she's right, Caillou. Video games are lots of fun, but playing them too much isn't good for you. I know. Why don't you help me finish collecting these leaves, and then we can play a game. Deal? Okay, I guess. Hey, Clementine! Look at this! Wow! It's just like Dig and Build! You're right! We can finish building our base after all! There we go! Now we each have a pickaxe, a spade, and an axe! Perfect! Now we can start to collect some materials to build our base. It'll be nighttime soon, so we'll have to be quick. Good idea! Let's go and collect some stones first. I think I saw some over there. Great, let's go. You were right, Caillou. There's loads of stones here. Caillou and Clementine collected the stone using the pickaxes they had crafted. My bag's almost full. We should head back to base and start building. There, that looks awesome. Now we'll need to make some walls and a door. Let's go and gather some more wood and sticks. Great idea! We can get some from that tree over there. Caillou and Clementine used the axes they had crafted to gather the wood from the tree. Hey, where did my rake go? <laughs> wow, I thought Caillou would still be grumpy. But it looks like they're having lots of fun doing the chores. There! That should be plenty! Quick, let's go and finish the base! It's starting to get dark! Phew! We did it! Yeah, and just in time! Let's get inside. We can build some more in the morning when it's safe. What an awesome base we've built! I know. It's better than our video game base. <gasps> oh, what was that? Don't worry. Nothing will be able to get us while we're in here. <gasps> oh, no! We left the front door open! Close it, quick! A uh, 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 monster! Hurry, Caillou! We'll have to use the secret exit to escape! <laughs> Trapped! No! Meow! Gilbert! It was you all along! Great job, guys! You've tidied up the whole garden! No, we didn't! We were playing dig and build! We just finished building our base when a monster attacked us! Luckily, it turned out to be Gilbert. My goodness. Well, all these adventures must have made you both hungry. How about we go inside and I can make you a snack? We can't. We have to make some adjustments to our base. Yeah. What if we get attacked by a real monster next time? Caillou loved playing his video game with Clementine. But building a real base outside was much more fun. Today, Caillou and Rosie were in the park practicing riding their bicycles. They were having lots of fun cycling up and down the path together. <laughs> Look, Mommy! No feet! That's very impressive, Caillou. Hi, Caillou. Caillou noticed that all his friends were riding their bicycles without training wheels on. Hey, where are your training wheels? We don't need them anymore. Watch! Come on, Caillou. We're going to go right down the hill. Caillou felt a little silly. He didn't want to be the only one using training wheels. What's the matter, Caillou? I don't want my training wheels anymore, Daddy. 
I want to ride my bicycle like a grown-up. Well, if you think you're ready, I could teach you to ride without them. I'm ready. There you go, Caillou. Caillou was eager to catch up with his friends. He hopped straight on his bicycle and tried to ride it. Wait for me! Careful, Caillou. You haven't ridden without training wheels before. Ouch! Mommy, I fell off! Oh, poor Caillou. Never mind. Let me kiss it better. Mommy kissed Caillou's knee. It made it feel much better. It feels better now, Mommy. You're very brave, Caillou. Let's try again, but let me hold you up this time. You have to learn to balance first. Okay, ready? Let's go. Hold on tight, Caillou. Whoa! It's okay. You're doing great. Don't let go, Daddy! <laughs> I already have, Caillou. Caillou was riding the bike all by himself. I'm doing it! Great job, Caillou! Look! I don't need my training wheels anymore! Wow, Caillou! You're really good at riding your bike! Thanks! Daddy taught me how! Let's go down the hill again! As Caillou rode down the hill, he could feel the wind rushing against his face. It was lots of fun! Wow! That was amazing! I think I went the fastest! No way! I was the fastest! How about we have a race to see who's the fastest? Great idea, Clem! Okay, guys. The first one to go around that tree and back is the winner of the race. Are you going to race too, Rosie? Zoom, zoom! Okay, is everyone ready? Ready! ready. Three, two, one, go! <laughs> Caillou and his friends raced off towards the tree, pedaling as fast as they could. But Rosie struggled to keep up on her little tricycle. <laughs> I'm going to win! Rosie, you won the race! Well done, Rosie! Wow! You must have gone really fast, Rosie! I didn't even see you go past me! Caillou knew that Rosie hadn't really won the race properly. But he also knew that she was only little. When you're ready, I'll teach you to ride a grown-up bike just like me. Today, Mommy and Daddy had taken Caillou and Rosie on a very special trip to the zoo. Here we are. Caillou looked at the map of the zoo. He could see lots of pictures of all the different animals. Which animals do you want to go and see first, Caillou? Let's go and see the elephant. Great choice, Caillou. Where is it, Mommy? Caillou looked for the elephant, but he couldn't see it anywhere. <laughs> there it is! <laughs> Caillou liked the elephant. He especially liked the noise that it made. <laughs> Can we get a pet elephant? <laughs> I don't think we have room for an elephant at home, Caillou. They're much too big. Look! The mommy and the daddy lion are sleeping. Would you like me to take your picture, Caillou? Yes, please! Caillou! 
Say cheese. Help! Don't worry, Caillou. It's just a baby lion. I think he wants to play with you. <laughs> War! <laughs> I did it! <laughs> Hi, I'm Linda. What's your name? I'm Caillou, and this is my sister Rosie. Hello, Caillou. Hello, Rosie. Would you like to come and feed the monkeys with me? Yes, please. Caillou was very excited. He'd never fed a monkey before. These monkeys love to eat fruit and vegetables. Why don't you and Rosie put some on that rock for them? Look! They're eating it! Hey! My hat! Monkey! They also love to play. <laughs> Caillou, come down from that tree. We have to go home soon. I'm down here, Daddy. That's just a monkey. Oh, there you are, Caillou. Look what I found, Caillou. It's an elephant. This one is just the right size to come and live at home with us. Caillou had loved his day at the zoo, and he was very happy to have his very own elephant to take home. Today, Mommy and Daddy had taken Caillou and Rosie on a trip to the theme park. Caillou was so <laughs> excited. Theme parks were the most fun places in the world. This is going to be the best day ever! It was hard for Caillou to decide which ride he wanted to go on first, so Daddy suggested they try the roller coaster. to stand next to this measuring stick, Caillou. Why? We have to check if you're tall enough to go on the ride. Am I tall enough? Yep. Rosie wanted to go on the roller coaster too, but she was still too little. Don't worry, Rosie. There's lots of other fun rides you can go on. Ready, Caillou? Ready! <laughs> the roller coaster slowly began to move forwards. It went higher and higher and higher. We're getting really high. I know. We can see the whole park from up here. I'm scared, Daddy. Don't worry, Caillou. Here, hold my hand. The roller coaster was really fast. <laughs> <Whoa>. <laughs> Caillou could feel the wind blowing against his face as they zoomed around. <laughs> this is Ooh. awesome! Did you see me? I put my hands in the air!
I saw Caillou. You were very brave. Caillou and Rosie <laughs> found a great place for a photo. <laughs> Look, Mommy. Rosie can go on the roller coaster after all. Wow. You look like you're going really fast. Corsi! That's right, Rosie. Shall we have a go? Ready, Rosie? <laughs> Here we go! <laughs> Giddy up, Rosie! I'll race you to the finish line! Ah, <laughs> you had lots of fun on the big roller coaster, but he loved going on the carousel with Rosie and his family just as much. <laughs>